The random Bible verse we have for today is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 through 10, and it reads, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So I circled a lot of the words that I felt really drawn to um, just from my own testimony and experience. I've shared it before, but I'll share it again just because I know there's some new viewers. But essentially, I was incredibly overweight and obese and very depressed and just having a hard time continuing on in life. I didn't want to get up out of bed. I was just really depressed and I felt as though I was stuck in this tar pit. Um, I would always describe my depression, um, part two, kind of part two, but I would always describe my depression as this cave that I was in, like this massive well of a tunnel of a cave, and at the bottom was just all of this tar. And it was like I was stuck in the cave and there was a ladder to get out, but I could only climb up so far. And the tar would just pull at me and tug at me and I was just sticky and I couldn't get out. And that's how I would describe my anxiety and my depression. Um, and so, so essentially one day I prayed to the Lord, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and I, I prayed to have my depression and my anxiety lifted off of me. And instantly this heaviness that I felt that I, I didn't realize I had on me, um, instantly was lifted. And I felt as though there was like oil being poured on me and I was no longer sticking to this tar. Um, it was like I was clean and like all the tar that was stuck on me was no longer clinging to me and I could climb up the ladder a little bit further. Part three, but the tar was no longer sticking on me and I could climb up this ladder and climb out of my depression and anxiety pit. And I'm still in my depression and anxiety, but I'm higher up the ladder than I once was before. And so, and so after I had prayed to have that depression lifted from me, I was able to actually start to do things. Um, I was able to get out of bed, I was able to go on walks, I was able to brush my teeth. Um, I know that sounds so crazy, but it was the little things that were so hard sometimes. And I could do it finally, you know? <laughs> so I started working out, I lost about 70 pounds. Um, I started to believe in myself, I started to wear clothes that I always wanted to wear. Um, lifted off of me. I was no longer in that tar pit. All from a prayer. Sorry, part four. Um, I should have chose the three minutes. But the depression and the tar was gone and I could do things. And so I had the idea of my 44 days to bloom. Um, and now it's turned into blooming till summer because I completed that. And he's just been with me every step of the way. And so throughout my progress and trying to become the best me, I learned so much and I was always at this part where I hated the world. And so I had a dream and this dream changed my trajectory. Um, essentially, I was in a room speaking to someone who was very important and the room was all bright white and white. Um, I think I was in nature and I was kneeling before this man who I knew was very important and he said, I know you hate the world, but you are the light. So I feel as both of those occasions were the Lord communicating and talking with me and it completely changed my life and pushed me forward on the path that I am on now. Part five, but I was in the darkness and the Lord pulled me out. Um, he chose me, he saved me, he healed my depression um, and he showed me that I am the light and he put me on the path that I am on now. He gave me my idea of 44 days to bloom. I started it and now I'm doing Blooming Till Summer which has 344 days in it and he's just with me every step of the way showing me that I am the light and that I am shining on everybody that I'm interacting with and that by shining on them I'm hoping that they are able to see the light that they have as well and so every day I'm becoming the best me with him by my side the Lord by my side um, and with all of you supporting me so you are loved, you are the light, you are chosen by Yeshua the Lord, our God, Messiah.